High so, stakes, talking shit. Yeah, yeah, high stakes. There's an emotions battle, whether or not you can keep your emotions, how well you handle pressure. It's giant. Yeah. See, that's the thing about Conor McGregor, more than anything. Like, nah, we shouldn't say more than anything. It's one of many things about him that's pretty interesting. But one of the most interesting things about him is he handles pressure like nobody I've ever seen. Yeah. Like when he fought Aldo for the title, he didn't even look remotely nervous. He was super relaxed, super calm. Well, then you start to think, though, that you go, how much of what you're seeing is how pressure is manifested through that guy? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, for instance, the press conference kind of... Mm -hmm antics you're like is that is that genuine is that an act is that how he handles the pressure of this high pressure situation mm -hmm. by doing a fucking you know bang bang show at the right thing. so like it but i personally i find the guy which is i think what you want why someone becomes a star uh, endlessly entertaining on top of being good so i you know i'm tuning in too i want to see the fucking show He's the best shit talker of all time. I know I've said that before about other people. Yeah. Before that, I said Chael Sonnen was the best shit talker of all time. And I think yeah. he was for yeah. a while. But I think Connor, Connor tops him. Yeah. And all of a sudden, all, also as well, Connor has an additional significance to his shit talking because he knocks people dead. Right. It's yeah. a totally different thing. And Chael yeah. Sonnen, not that he's not a fucking animal because yeah. Chael Sonnen's an animal. And he, he's, he's, he submitted Shogun Hua. Shale Sonnen's a very solid grappler. Sure. Came very close to beating Anderson Silva in their first fight. So he's a stud. But what Connor does differently is he ices guys with one punch. And that's a big factor yeah. in a fight. When you're watching him and he fights Eddie Alvarez, and all of a sudden he dings him with a left hand and catches him and rocks him early on, you go, yeah. holy shit. And you realize, like, he's fighting a guy now at 155 pounds. And Eddie Alvarez is a big 155. He's a big guy, big muscular guy. Yeah. The idea is he's going to be able to wrestle Connor. He's going to be able to grab him and grind him out the same way he did with Anthony Pettis. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope. Dealing with a totally different animal. Yeah. Connor's just got a totally different kind of focus as far as like the way he zooms in on targets. Yeah. And his precision, it's just speed. He's just dropping it in there with 100% speed. Like, that's a big part of what he's doing. He's not loading up at all. Yeah. And the ability to stay calm. Like, when you load up, say, like, if you see someone coming at you, and you just go, <sighs> like, yeah. you do, all that's wasted time. Yeah. All that's wasted time. What Connor has is the ability to be perfectly technical in a firefight. So, like, and Aldo's just, yeah. charging at him. This is, like, 13 seconds into the fight. Aldo's mm. charging at him. And he knows how to just slide back and, blam, drops that left hand in on him. Is the striking the strongest part of his? Yes, for sure. Court? His ground game is underrated. He's very good on the ground. He's, yeah. he's very good defensively. He's got good sweeps. He sweeped Nate Diaz in their first fight. People forget that. He's the kind of guy, how much would you love to watch before he was a professional? Uh, I did watch him. Well, bar, not before he was professional. But... Bar fights, though. Oh, Jesus. you know he's been in some definite scraps <laughs> in bars before. I don't even think you're allowed to, like, get 18 in Ireland if you Oof. haven't been in a bar fight yet. Yeah, man. Like, We're going out tonight, lad. <laughs> We're popping yeah. your cherry. That's probably the worst yeah. accent ever. Probably. Right up there. But um, I saw him fight in uh, I guess he was fighting in Cage Warriors. I tweeted to him in like 2013 mm -hmm. before uh, he came to the UFC. I said, I'm, I'm a big fan, man. Yeah. I want you to come over. And did he? Yeah. I mean, yeah. like right after that, um, the uh, UFC and him, totally uh, coincidentally, I didn't call. I mean, I definitely probably told anybody who listened to me about yeah. him. Yeah. Because I had seen him fight before. I'm like, this kid ices people. Yeah. His left hand is just devastating. And he's got a crazy style. He fights in his like wide stance and he moves different. And he, yeah. He cracks guys. I'm like, this kid's legit. I'd like to see him in the UFC. I never asked you. Um, <laughs> there it wow. is. Yeah. That's January of 2013. So it was almost four years wow. ago. Did you did you think of, I didn't I never talked to you about what did you think of all the um, you know the talks of a uh, him Floyd Mayweather fight? Did you just roll he'll it? fight him? <laughs> I what guarantee did, you he would fight him. Do you think what kind of match do you think that? Well, would he's be? a lot bigger than Floyd. First of all, let's let's just um, emphasize that. Yeah, he's a lot bigger. Yeah. So it'd be a real problem as far as like weight cutting. Because mm -hmm. if they, they let Connor fight it wherever he wants, Connor's going to weigh somewhere around 170 pounds. Right. That's what he's at his best, like in his, yeah. his optimum with no weight cutting. Yeah. I don't think Floyd's that big. I think Floyd, hmm. uh, I, I, I guarantee you, he's probably not more than 160. Do you think Floyd's bigger than 160 in real life? 
He's a small dude. He's a small guy. Yeah. Like, even in person, he's really like short doesn't mean weight, but he's small. What weight did he begin his career at? Floyd Mayweather is a I mean, I'm a huge Floyd Mayweather fan. Dude, and he's I think a bad when it comes to man. boxing, I think he's like one of the most skillful boxers that's ever lived. I really do. Technical if not the shit. most. Listed yeah. at 150. 150. Hmm. But uh that's probably what he last fought at. Like, didn't he make um when he met when he fought Canelo, didn't he make him come down a bit? He made him come down to like one fifty four or something like that. That sounds right. Something like that. That, sound, that sounds right. They had some sort of a catch weight fight. I remember. Huh. And Canelo's fighting at what? He's fighting at one sixty now. He's definitely bigger. Or is he fighting at one fifty four? Gennady Golovkin is one sixty, right? Is that the the hold up as the two of them? Because I think I feel like Canelo's been fighting middleweight too. Like he fought Cotto. What was that at? Wasn't that at middleweight or 154? Alvarez fight or yeah, Alvarez catchweight 152. 152. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So he made Canelo lose some weight. He because Canelo's a lot bigger than him. Yeah. So Canelo probably walks around maybe 20 pounds heavier than that. That's a bad motherfucker too. Oh, he's good. Yeah. And Floyd Mayweather just boxed him up. Yeah. What? That's... I'm not there. I'm here. Plop. Oh, look at that. Just beautiful right. technique. That's the thing you have to wonder. Um, could uh, is is like would Connor's skills, just technical skills, match up to somebody like the counter counter defense? You know, I ca- I can't imagine they yeah, would unless Mayweather's so. so out of shape. Yeah, him. I'm saying on top of his game. It's, <sighs> yeah, it's him nasty. on top of his game. You're not gonna hit him. Mm-mm. He's gonna. Know, I mean, you have to be really top level to catch him. It's so nuts that that dude is so fast that he he boxes it like something that yeah. no boxes up with his lead hand down. Yeah, not even hip level, mid thigh sometimes. Yeah. Well, it's because like that gonna... that forces his shoulder over. It's actually a, an easier way to block a lot of things if you're skillful with it. You got shoulder so roll. Quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you got to be. It's not just quick, and he's definitely quick. He's yeah. very quick. But what Floyd has over like almost anyone else. He's, a, he's got this incredible knowledge of what you're going to do before you do it. Like, he knows so much about boxing, about boxing as a science from his brother, mm-hmm. or his father, rather, and his yeah, uncle. His uncle, yeah. His uncle's Roger Mayweather, who's a black mamba, who's an yeah. all-time f- fucking exciting guy to watch in, like, the 80s and 90s. He would starch people, man. Dude, him on those HBO shows, there's, they've oh. never had a better comedy than Roger Mayweather moments. It's the greatest. Oh, you mean in between corners? No, when they what used do to do the oh the those twenty four seven. Yes, twenty four seven. He would fucking massacre those. Like <laughs> <laughs> the funniest shit I've ever seen. And they he edited him so fucking funny. One of those fights, they were fighting. Maybe it was Alvarez or somebody. And Alvarez was like, "We got to prepare for floor. I'm gonna you know watch his fights." And uh, <laughs> and I just I know I'm just gonna have the fight of my life on my hands. And then they cut to Roy or to to Roger Mayweather, and he goes, "Who the fuck is Alvarez?" And then it was cut out. <laughs> like he like he was pretending he doesn't even know who the guy is. But that really was. Do you know that that was a big part of the preparation for? A, I don't know if it in the end it was, but for a long time, when they would go like, "How are you preparing for this fighter?" His his answer and their legit answer was like. They have to prepare for this shit. Right. Like, yeah. We're not preparing for anything. He better yeah. prepare a lot, you know? And that's yeah. how they would approach it. Like, we're not studying you. You need to study this shit right now because it's going to be bad what happens to you. <laughs> it's that a good was, point. Yeah. It's a good point. 